Ironworkers for American Bridge Fluor have completed pulling 137 cable strands that comprise the suspension cable. The world's tallest self-anchored suspension bridge will be held aloft by that one cable, which is anchored on the east end of the span, rises 525 feet to the top of the tower, down to the western end, around that end, and back up to the top, finally descending to its final anchorage. The cable is made up of more than 17,000 wires. The first strand pull began December 21, 2011. The final cable pull took place 106 days later, on April 5, 2012. This kind of operation had never been done. It took a complex series of hauling systems. The first to pull the cable the length of the span. Then it was transferred to another hauling device to traverse the width of the bridge. And then back to a third hauling system to lift the cable back to the top of the tower and down. This is what each cable pole looked like with front and rear view cameras. This happened 137 times. The 137 cable strands each have 127 wires, each wire able to suspend a military grade Hummer. Each strand is nearly a mile long. Together, they weigh 10 million pounds. So heavy, even the individual strands, that these guardians of the cable were assigned the task of making sure the traveling strands fell atop rollers to reduce friction. It was a relentless task, climbing up and down these steep catwalks, back and forth, up to three times a day, for 106 days. They may call them iron workers. By now, they have legs of steel. Five hundred twenty-five feet in the air, these dedicated iron workers, with backs and arms of steel, were using wooden blocks and rubber mallets, ensuring that each and every strand was in its proper predetermined slot as the steel passed through the largest bridge saddle in the world. As the final strand approached the crest of the tower at 11.10 a.m. April 5th, the pounding stopped for a few brief moments. With no fanfare from the press, this is the only video recording of these seven workers posing for a few photographs with the flag and strand 137. The tower top ceremony lasted just minutes as they sent the flag and the strand on its final descent. A steel worker could be heard singing. At the base, more Caltrans workers, American Bridge Floor officials, and representatives from Bridge Design Team T.Y. Lin greeted the final arrival at the base at 11.50 a.m. with cheers and more photographs. As the strand was disconnected from the hauling system and hoisted into its final alignment, there were more whoops and cheers. Caltrans Bartnay explains what happens next. Well, the next thing that we'll do after all the hauling is done and the cable's had its first tensioning is we'll compact it. So a machine will come out and actually compress the cable, which is now sort of in a hexagonal form, a little bit blocky. It'll compress it into a cylinder to get all the voids out of the inside of the steel. Wrapping up the cable operation will take the project into 2013, the year the new Bay Bridge opens to the public on the self-anchored suspension tower, Mark Jones reporting.